Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading for March 2020. We're going to connect here and see what is going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and yes, of course, Venus. I am setting the intentions for Venus sign as well. I know a lot of people like to check out their Venus sign when it comes to love. Uh, some people swear it, it resonates for them more, but everybody's different. So you might want to watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, your sun, and see which resonates with you most. Happy birthday to the first wave of Aries of Aries season. Some of you have got those end of March birthdays. Let's see what is happening for Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I feel like it needs one more shovel. Aries, I'm getting the number six for you guys. The number six. Um, you might have somebody that's trying to buy your love <laughs> in the month of March. So let's see what the cards have to say. One, two, three, four, five. We are having the full warm moon as well uh, early on in March. And this is going to be bringing a lot of transitions for a lot of people. So your first card here is Eight of Swords. So what did I say? I feel some of you do have somebody trying to buy your love. Um, or some of you are feeling stuck in a relationship or situation uh, that's affecting your, your love life. Like you're feeling like you can't leave the relationship because finances aren't good. Or you might be really kind of overemphasizing your financial situation and telling yourself, that, you know, subconsciously you can't have a relationship or uh, you are not going to be happy in the relationship until money is better. Uh, there might just be too much importance being placed on finances. Because when I see six or when I get that feeling of number six, when I go into a love reading, there's way too much importance putting, being put on money by both parties or one of the parties or somebody might be... Um, hurting your feelings and you get upset and they might turn around and like you know give you a nice watch or, or take you away on a little getaway or take you to a nice restaurant or or buy you something and then it's like well now I feel like a jerk for complaining right but at the same time you probably would rather that incident didn't happen and not have to go to the nice restaurant or not or not have to have somebody give you a present. So, so you might be feeling stuck or you might be feeling trapped. There's a lot happening with communication energy. Um, right now I'm feeling it. I'm picking it up on it. I'm seeing a lot of it in the personal readings I've been doing. So some of you might be feeling like you can't really express yourself or somebody's holding some kind of a debt over your head. Okay. When I see this card, Eight of Swords... Usually I'll get the feeling somebody's waiting to be rescued, but I don't get that vibe from you, Aries, at least not in the month of March. I don't feel like you're waiting to be rescued. I feel like you're feeling your hands are tied, like like you, you're feeling like you can't express what you want or you can't express what you need um, or it's going to be like some kind of a, a, a conflict. Some of you are feeling like you want to have a relationship or you want to have a love life, but you're feeling bound by your circumstances. Again, maybe you feel like, oh, well, you know, I don't have a car, so nobody's going to want me or I, I don't have my own place, so nobody's going to want me. You have to clear those thoughts out of your head. Okay, because it's an illusion. This being trapped is an illusion. Okay, your next card here is Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords could indicate a betrayal or, or like being very hurt. And like I said, I feel like somebody like I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy here, but I feel like something is happening where you're hurt and somebody's trying to buy your forgiveness or sweep it under the rug. And Ten of Swords is I feel this is more your energy. You're like, you know what? I, I've had it. I don't want to do this. I don't want to deal with the situation. It's time to end this cycle or it's time to end this, this pattern. Uh, there's a lot of ultimatum energy right now up in the air. I, I talked about it a little bit in the card of the day on Instagram and Facebook uh, uh, a few days ago, a few days before posting this video. So um, I feel Aries that you're done with somebody. You might be giving them one last chance, but when we talk about one last chance, like this is it, this is one last chance. Like you turn it around, you get it together, or this is done. Because the thing about Ten of Swords is there's no coming back from it. And I know it's a scary looking card and it makes a lot of people sad. I don't know why I'm holding it. That's what these little logs are here for. I know it's a card that makes a lot of people sad or it's scary to look at. And I'm not trying to be a Pollyanna here, but I've said this before in other videos. Anytime I've pulled a Ten of Swords, 
either for myself or for any of my long-term clients that I've been reading for for years and years and I get to like see what happens in between their readings. Anytime I've pulled a 10 of swords, it's been right before something really good happening. There's an ending that the client is deciding. They're the one making the decision. Like they're saying they're done with something. And as soon as they let it go, something really big comes in or something really big opens up. All right. Some of you are clearing out some crazy karmic stuff because of Mercury retrograde. You know, we're in the tail end of Mercury retrograde. Some of you might have somebody sliding in at the very tail end of Mercury retrograde where you've been kind of stuck or waiting on this person to get their crap together. And you just might be like, you know what, I am going to let this person go. Um, you're you're clearing it. OK, in an existing relationship, some kind of self-medicating habit or some kind of escapism has to end. Okay, whether it's uh, turning to food or alcohol or drugs or sex or video games or whatever it might be. It's like, you know, either you're going to do your work and you're going to get right or, or we can't continue like this anymore. Right. Or you're telling yourself that you're like, I got to do my work and I have to stop self-medicating or we can't do this anymore. But I really feel that this is you're coming into a very strong make it or break it energy. Aries like th this is it this is a, a very big turning point in a relationship next we have 10 of pentacles see you have 10 repeating twice and 10 is a significant number because 10 is saying that you're in this energy of um manifesting something or something is complete something has come full circle it's done it's finished 10 is the number of completion 10 is the number of earthly perfection okay and so perfection in terms of like it's done so this doesn't surprise me it I, this seems really up and down here but this doesn't surprise me because one of the things about the full warm moon that's happening on the ninth is it's very much going to be endings and beginnings right so it's like no sooner than are you letting go of something unhealthy whether it's a belief within yourself or a relationship that's been keeping you bound no sooner that you let it go than that you're manifesting what you truly want okay uh, that's a big energy here with this full moon it's gonna be about you know something you know laying something down and picking something else up for some of you those of you who are single and if you've been single for a really long time you might feel like you're getting this second wind. You might feel like you're kind of getting your fire back. You might start feeling a surge of confidence. And then all of a sudden you might find yourself, it feels like somebody dropped from the sky and you guys are really getting on and it's like somebody that you've manifested. Uh, some of you might be, Pisces had something similar for what I'm about to say. You might be leaving one relationship and quickly going into another one, even though you had not planned this. It's just the way that it's aligning, the way that it's working out. And what did I say? Some of you are really worried about finances in terms of relationship and love. But here you have 10 of pentacles and this is saying that you don't need to worry. Okay. 10 of pentacles is also about uh, traditions, 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 traditions. So uh, some of you might be getting closer in a relationship where it's beginning to talk about, you know, becoming a home together or, or making a home together and what you all are going to be doing for the holidays and, and uh, uh, you know, setting customs and traditions and things for yourselves within your own relationship. Uh, I feel for some of you, and this is so very random, but I feel that for some of you where uh, religion has been an issue in your relationship, uh, maybe you're, you've been dating someone or you've been in a relationship with somebody who's a different religion than you, and maybe your family is really pulling your partner or pressuring you to pressure your partner to go into their religion, or your partner's family is really pressuring your partner to get you to go into their religion. Um, I feel like you guys are coming up with your own beliefs. You, I don't want to say you're coming up with your own religion, but you're coming up with like your own traditions, your own beliefs. Like you're thinking about like, well, what are we going to teach our kids or what are we going to instill in our kids in the future? You're coming up with your own. You're coming up with what rings true for you, for the, for the two of you. Um, and there may be some tension here around that with that Ten of Swords. You know, somebody's family might be, you know, casting someone off saying, oh, well, if you're going to leave the religion, then like, you know, we're not going to have anything to do with you guys. Uh, but you're you're happy. You're happy nonetheless. OK, uh, the next card here is 
Three of Swords. What did I say? A sacrifice, right? Like you're happy, you're coming up with your own, but then something is ending, right? And there will be sadness or, or mourning from that, despite this happiness. You are going to have to grieve and you are going to have to release this loss. I know Three of Swords is a card that scares a lot of people. But I've always said it's kind of like kids running around and playing on the playground. If you've ever seen like a little kid, especially like a preschool age kid, like a three-year-old or four-year-old kid. Um, I used to teach preschool. <laughs> so they would be like running and they'd fall and they like hurt their knee and they're just screaming. Like it's just, it's the end of the world, right? And you give them a, an ice pack and you give them a hug and like three seconds later, they're running off again, pretending they're a T-Rex or they're a Superman or Superwoman or whatever. Like, like nothing happened. It's this great big wailing agony for like three seconds and then life is back to normal again. So I do feel some of you are sacrificing someone or something for your love life. Those of you where it's beliefs or it's obligations, you are going to have someone come into your life and you may have to step away for that relationship and you may be made to feel guilty about that. Or you may be realizing that, hey, you know what? These particular friends or these particular family members are being very toxic in this relationship. And in my life in general, and they're holding me back. So I have to step away from them. And there's going to be some sadness that comes with that. And it, it might sting, but I don't think it's going to be something that's going to last very long. Also keep in mind, because of that full moon, you know, early on in the month, you're going to be clearing out a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings. And I'm not an astrology expert, but what I have read uh, about the full moon coming up is for some Aries, they're going to be feeling frustration over like previous unrequited loves or like you know really like having like passion or desire for somebody that maybe didn't notice them so maybe you're clearing out that kind of stuff as well for some of you this is a general reading so the energies are gonna apply in different ways i'm not saying somebody's gonna reject you in march i'm just saying maybe in the past you've been into people and they haven't been as into you or whatever and maybe that has held you back in your love life for some of you but you're releasing that so that it doesn't hold you back anymore because this ten of pentacles says you are manifesting something really good your next card here is justice i just got chills aries i got chills i got all kinds of chills um you don't know this if you haven't been watching my videos regularly but aries and libra you guys have been getting a lot of the same cards in the weekly forecasts and this is a major arcana card and this is going to deal with a libra okay uh you might be having a libra that you are dating or there could be a libra that's significant in this disagreement right it could be a family member um it could be a best friend but this is someone with whom you have a soul contract with okay uh in some cases it could be karmic in some cases this could be uh someone who's trying to guide you or or, or lead you in some way uh it could be an ally for some of you you know maybe this libra standing up for you and has your back and it's like look to hell with everybody else don't worry about it you do you but um one of the meanings let's put libra aside for a second one of the meanings of the justice card is having firm boundaries and being able to make good decisions based on uh balancing your mind and your heart if you have struggled aries in the past if you've struggled where you're like well every time i follow my head my heart is miserable and every time i follow my heart it ends up being a really stupid decision and i regret it and you might be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to choose. The justice card, one of the meanings of the justice card is you're balancing the two. You're coming into a balance of the head and the heart so that you're able to make good balanced decisions and also set boundaries. Okay. Um, if you are an Aries, there may be something around divorce or divorce energy that you are clearing, okay? Maybe you've been estranged from someone and you're finalizing it. Or maybe you've had issues because of divorce energy that's been around you growing up or, or, uh, or uh, uh, somebody's getting divorced and uh, it's impacting you in some way. Uh, whether it's making you lose your faith in love or making you feel worried, you're able to clear that out and get that fear out of your system. Uh, 
Or somebody could be reaching out to you that they're finally getting divorced and they're like, hey, you know, I, I want to be with you or, you know, I want to I want to date you. You know, there could be something along those lines happening as well. OK, but I feel Aries, something is ending very abruptly and then something new is starting very, very quickly thereafter. I feel kind of like love is coming out at you out of nowhere in March. Um, and there's going to I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be these ups and downs. OK. Um, but I think you're clearing a lot of financial false beliefs that have been holding you back and a lot of fears and insecurities that have been holding you back. You're clearing out those worries, those concerns, and you're manifesting, you're manifesting love here with this 10 of coins. Alrighty, my darlings, be sure to watch your weekly forecast because I don't like to only focus on love on my channel every single week. I do a quick little reading for spirituality, finances, career, all the other stuff that comes up. I also do channeled angel messages once a month, so be sure to check those out. I thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. Be sure to uh, follow Amethyst Angelite on Instagram and Facebook so that you can also see the daily messages, the card of the day and the little pick-a-card game. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.